In this video, I'll show you how to use the speech to text feature in Kaden Live to automatically create subtitles for your videos. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I've got my video right inside here. Let's say I do not want to type out the subtitles for this video. You can easily use the speech recognition or the speech to text feature in Kaden Live to automatically create subtitles for your videos. I'll show you how you can do this. And the first step is if this is your first time, you'll need to configure Kaden Live to use the speech model that you want. So we'll go to settings and then click on configure Kaden Live. Now, if you're not in the speech to text model section, uh, if it's your first time, you might land somewhere here or here or whatever. You'll need to click on speech to text. And from this section, you'll see speech to text view SK speech models. You can choose a custom folder if you already have the models and then you can download the models. I'm going to do a quick dummy of downloading the models and I'll click on this link. When I click the, on this link, it's going to bring me to this page where they have uh, a couple of models, big and small. Small models are ideal for some limited tasks on mobile applications or simply put is that they don't give or don't have a big data set as compared to the big models. Uh, that can at least uh, make better results. So you'll see that uh, if you go for English, there is the 40 MB version. If you go for the bigger one, 1.8 gigabytes. If you go for this uh, medium one, uh, it's actually uh, at 128 MB. So you can keep looking around for your language if it's available. There's Indian, English, Chinese, Chinese, Russian, French, German, Spanish, Greek, Turkish, etc. So the audio to my video is in English. And to actually use this, uh, it's very easy in Kaden Live because you can just uh, hover over this particular link and left click and hold and then drag this, click on uh, uh, this particular option, drop it down there. And once you do that, then you'll see that enter URL for the new dictionary Kaden Live location uh, is on this URL and then you can click on OK. And this is actually going to download and install, but it's not downloaded and installed because I already have that particular dictionary. So if I click on this here, I can click on apply and then click on OK. Once I do that, now let's run the speech recognition. Now you can click on the edit subtitle tool here, right there to bring up the subtitle section. And you'll see this kind of magic thing called speech recognition. You can also see it from uh, project, subtitles, speech recognition. So what we need to do first, let's select this particular clip. Let's click on speech recognition. Once I click on that, let's assume you want to use, let's say this particular model that's a little bit bigger. Then we say selected clip and you have the option for time timeline zone, all tracks, timeline zone, selected tracks. That's really awesome. And then you have selected clips. So if you have multilingual uh, audios, then you know what to select. So I'll say selected clip and then click on process. It's going to export the audio. And once it's done exporting the audio, it's going to start uh, the speech recognition uh, inside here. So it's already begun. It's at 1%. We'll need to give it some time. Now, the only downside I found to this is that uh, Unlike in subtitle edit, where the viewer sky models, even if you're using the small one, gives you punctuations, capitalizations, etc. When you use it in Kaden Live, it's not available. Those options are not applicable. I wish they actually did uh, give us the option to include punctuation and capitalization like uh, we have in subtitle edit. But other than that, I find that it picks up whatever is being said clearly and uh, you can use it to speed up uh, your process of creating subtitles uh, inside Kaden Live and it's free. Kaden Live is free, available for Windows, Mac and Linux. So subtitles imported and you'll see a new line up here with the subtitles. So let's close this. Now we can just listen through uh, and see if clearly uh, if what we're expecting is what we got. So here we go. Let's play. With the recent update, so you can see the subtitles right here. You can also click on this uh, to see them uh, clearly uh, and then make the changes. For example, here we can just capitalize W. 
with the reason changes on the YouTube and then this YouTube should be capital Y and capital T uh, so we can actually just now come back here and you see now the changes uh, are reflect with the recent update on the YouTube interface it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts so for example somewhere like here I would have expected maybe like a full stop and then capitalization of YouTube uh, and hi etc so really depends on what you're looking for but that is how it, uh, you can do that keep going keep going and all that and then as always I showed you you can do styling for the subtitles you can like do an opaque background for the subtitles uh, in uh, Caden Life really really awesome and uh, you'll now see all your subtitles with that background that you have right there and if you want to change the background just go to I believe it's the outline color change that to whatever uh, let's say we go with something like this okay that is what we have so if you actually play the recent update on the you YouTube have your subtitles with the background but uh, the intention of this video is to show you how to use the speech to text feature in Caden Live, uh, more or less the speech recognition to automatically create subtitles for your videos. It's really awesome. Try it out and see if it works out for you. Thank you so much for watching this video.